My rooftop tent has provided me the opportunity to wake up to views that I wasn't able to previously, and I love it for that. And while it still has a place in my travels, it doesn't quite work for a growing family. So today, we are upgrading. This is the Mammoth Overland HV trailer. This one in particular is mine, and it was the fifth off the production line. I'm super, super stoked to have this trailer. Um, I really wanted to pick it up and take it immediately off road, but that just wasn't in the cards. Um, and I still, I've had it for a couple weeks and I still haven't been able to get out in it, which is bumming me out so bad, but this weekend I'm finally taking it out. But I wanted to intro it to the channel, just say, hey, this is, uh, this is new, and you'll be seeing this a lot more. I still have the tent. I'll still be using the tent, because um, as capable as this thing is off-road, uh, there's going to be, there's a lot of tighter trails in the Pacific Northwest, a lot of single track stuff where I don't, it's hard to turn around without a trailer, so the tent still has a place but I'm really, really excited about this new addition. So the whole point for getting this trailer was to make things a little more accessible for my family and I. Um, we have a baby now, uh, little Luca, he's six months old. Uh, as I'm filming this, we have two 80 pound plus dogs. Um, that just isn't, it doesn't really work um, in a rooftop tent that is like a two to three person tent. It's just a little bit cramped. So we got this in hopes to be able to expand that a little bit. And this actually has a roof rack on it as well so we can put the tent on top of that and create even more room for my family. So quick specs of the trailer. Um, part of the reason I went with the Mammoth is because I really like the design. It's very innovative, it's very unique. Um, they're a local company, which is super cool. They're uh, located up in Woodenville. And they started as an airplane manufacturer of Asheron Aircrafts, and they decided they wanted to make trailers. Um, and this is, this is the product. Because they came from an aircraft engineering background, there's a lot of really cool tech that goes into this. So it's all aluminum, you have an inner shell, you have insulation, then you have an outer shell, all aluminum, all riveted. Um, so it's super, super lightweight. The whole unit is 1,600 pounds. Um, and we all know the Tacoma lacks power, and I promise you, towing this thing, I, I feel like there's nothing there. Like, it, it's, it's so light, it's incredible. So 1,600 pounds, it has 21 inches of ground clearance, it has 31 inch BF Goodrich KO2 tires, and it has Timberin 3500 HD uh, independent suspension. So it's an extremely capable um, trailer as it is, and I optioned to get the fully articulating off-road hitch. 
which is incredible. Two inch balls will bind when you start going off road, especially how with the capabilities of this trailer, um, which is which is not a good thing. So I got this fully articulating hitch, and I can essentially drag the uh, the trailer on the roof or on the side, and it still be hooked up. I hope that I don't do that, but it's it, it can do that. So some other really cool things, it's got a freshwater tank on it, 20 gallons. Um, this whole back section pops up and then the kitchen folds out. So it's got a two burner stove, it's got a sink, it's got a 45 quart uh, fridge in it. And it's got a king size bed on the inside. What I absolutely love about this trailer is it encourages you to get out just by ease of, okay, everything is in this trailer and ready to go anytime you want. It encourages you to get outside and explore a little more. It has the capabilities of doing that. It has some comforts as, as it has a, you know, a covered bed and, and a burner and sink and stuff like that. But the, the kitchen is all outside um, all you do inside, there's just a bed. There's not much room for anything else. You can hang out in there if, if you want, you know, if the weather's bad enough. But the thing about this trailer is it, it still encourages you to be outside. So a lot of people take a travel trailer and they have a TV and a couch and, you know, whatever in there. And it's just like, if I'm going to do that going out, I might as well stay at home. That's not the point of this trailer. The point is to take some comfort, some amenities, um, take it far beyond what normal trailers are capable of. So you can have that comfort, um, have a nice place to sleep, kind of recoup a little bit, um, and then you're back out in nature. I love the idea behind this trailer. And, and that's why I went with, with Mammoth specifically. So a couple other things I optioned. I optioned to get a liquid evaporator in it, um, which is essentially an AC unit. I think it's, the cold doesn't bother me that much because you can just bundle up. Um, it does have, you know, power and inverter so I can put a space heater or something in there if it gets really cold. Um, but when it gets too hot, that's when I hate it because you can't, there's not much you can do. So I did get a liquid evaporator in there to stay a little bit more comfortable in the summer. Um, I doubled the battery capacity from 100 amp hour to 200 amp hours, meaning if I run everything in the trailer full blast uh, constantly, I'll get about 12 hours out of the battery on it. But what's cool about this is when it's connected to the seven pin on the truck, it's kind of a trickle charger on the battery. It also has a solar panel, a 100 watt solar panel that, uh, that you can use to charge it when you're when you're stationary as well. So um, realistically, you can just be out for days and those batteries are gonna be charging themselves back up, um, either through the truck connection or through solar panels. So, super cool. Anyways, this was just a quick intro to the trailer. I have so much more to experience and explore and figure out with this trailer. Like I said, I haven't had a chance to actually get out in it yet, but that's changing this weekend. Um, I will show you guys so much more of it then um, after I get some time you know, with it and really figure this thing out. Um, I am just beyond excited. I This was not even a little bit in the plans for this year or really any time. Uh, in in the near future, I never considered trailers, but then we had a kid and things changed, and and uh, and here we are. And I'm just I'm freaking pumped about it. <clears throat> I hope you guys are pumped about it as well. I really think it's going to be a cool addition to the channel. So I have some other things in the work for this trailer, but I'm not going to go into that quite yet. I'm going to save that for a later date. But this trailer is the beginning of it, an expansion of, uh, of the Off The Grind brand, which I'm really excited about. Um, and that's couple, a few months away and we'll, we'll, uh, I'll tell you guys what, what that's all about. But that's gonna be really cool. I'm, I'm excited about uh, what the future holds for me and my family, 
what this trailer means to me and my family and what it means for off the grind as a business. So anyways, I'm gonna wrap that up here. Pretty short and sweet, just to show you guys. Um, there will be a video coming out soon of me actually getting out uh, into the wilderness and testing this thing out. Michael from Conquest Overland and I are gonna head out uh, to the trails this weekend. And he has a new setup, I have a new setup, so we're gonna test it out and, and uh, just hang out. It'll be, it'll be fun. Until then, I hope you guys are able to get off the grid and off the grind, and I'll see you in the next one.